Would you believe it? It's dark already. <laughs> I'm late. I'll see you, honey. Hey. Hey. <clears throat> I'm not going to let you go. <laughs> I'm not going to let you. <laughs> see you tomorrow, huh? Miss Campbell? Yeah? Stay away from that young guy. What? Hey, who is this anyway? Never mind. Just do what I say. Stay away from him. You understand? Stay away from him. Who is this? Hello? Hello? For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. You're only 23, Tina. <laughs> Wait till you're 45. 46. <laughs> oh, if you were wearing that gun, Joe Marcus. Oh, uh, but I am, sweetie. <laughs> Steve, what kind of friends does your wife have? Oh, they're killers, every single one of them. Right, honey? Right. <laughs> Whoops, look and learn, sweetie. Married almost a year and still smooching in public. No. Live with your father-in-law, you don't have much choice. Right? <laughs> Selma, why don't you serve the coffee? I'll cut the cake when my dad comes. Sure, honey. Where's the old bear anyway? Uh, probably out on a job. You know what I mean? Oh, now, come on. Don't joke about it, please. Come on, funny right. man. I worry about him, Steve. I can't help it. Worry about me? You know what I wished for? I wished you and my dad would get along better. We would, as soon as you and I move out of here. Steve, I don't see what difference it makes. Daddy! <laughs> That's the thing. We've been waiting for you. Working late, huh, Ed? I'm sorry, baby. Good help. <laughs> That's okay. You're here now. Cake. Listen, everybody, we can cut the cake now. I've been wondering where you were, you big lug. <laughs> okay, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> I can't wait. Tonight? No, I'm taking Tina to a movie. Oh, yeah, her old man just called a few minutes ago. He wants you to stop by before you go home. Same old junk. You wouldn't have any of that birthday cake, would you? Hmm? You got that birthday cake. Yeah, you can have it. Well, I don't want it all. Say if you can have it. Alright. Let him stagger around? Well, I see. He's inside. Is it important? 
feeds me. I guess I better hang around. You know, Sergeant Sag? Yeah, I know. <laughs> he arrested my son. Says he stole a car. I don't believe it. he's never been in trouble before. Well, he's in trouble now, mister. Joe. Oh, Sergeant. All right. Now, there's other kids being released, will you? I don't want to hold them any longer than we have to. Sure. You got a lawyer? Yes, I have a lawyer. You can hold them. Your boy will be arraigned in a couple of hours. Come on, he's saddled up to us. Sergeant, you're making a mistake. Yeah, I wish I were. But he's only 17. He's, he's uh, on the honor roll at school. And he snatched somebody's car, went for a joyride, and wrecked it. Now, look, Mr. Hamlin, if you want your kid to think that he can break the law and get away with it, that's your business. But don't ask me to hold your hand. Come on. Sergeant, don't you understand? Like... Sit down. Pretty rough on that poor guy, weren't you? What are you talking about? It's not my fault he didn't teach his kid to respect the law. Now, go ahead, sit down. The guy doesn't know the difference between right and wrong. He might as well be living in a tree. Do you agree? What's this all about, huh? Tita, do you love her? Huh? I asked you a question. Do you love her? Sure, I love her. Did she ever tell you about her mother? No. No, she ran out on us, both of us, when Tina was only ten. Tina is all I've got. All. Don't I know it? How many times have you been in that dame's apartment? What dame? You know what this would do to Tina if she found out about it. Found out about what, Sergeant? I don't know what you're talking about. You know damn well what I'm talking about. It's been in my gut for a week now. Louise Campbell, that's what I'm talking about. Now, how many times? Once, twice, seven, twenty. How many times? How many? I have some punk you pull them off the street. Now, get smart with me. I know you've been seeing this camel dame, and I want it stopped. Now. I'll think about it, Sergeant. Damn right you'll think about it. You'll do it. That's what you'll do. You'll do it. I'm not going to let my Tina be hurt. In my book, she comes ahead of everybody. You, me, everybody. And why don't you let her go? Everything. She still comes running to you for everything. We've been married for almost a year, and I still don't know whose wife she is, yours or mine. Kind of a you know how many times I pleaded with her to move out of that house of yours? She thinks we can't manage without Papa. Well, let me tell you something, Sergeant. I can manage without Papa. Stay away from that dame here. Tickets for the double head of his Sunday. I thought you didn't like baseball. Uh, Steve does. I figured you and he might want to get away from your man for a while. Daddy, you're sweet. Ah, uh, not yet, but I'm working on it. Hey, I thought you two were going to the movies tonight. We didn't. If you're hungry, we have piles of cold chicken in the refrigerator. Sweetheart, you and Steve, you, uh, are you having any trouble? What trouble? Am I keeping you from moving out of here? Huh? So because if I am... Hey, how does this look so far? Do you think Steve will like it? Well, you better. Where is he? It? Home, isn't it? Nope. I'll go and fix you that chicken. That's the tent. Well, he had to work late again tonight. He phoned me. Some kind of emergency. Daddy, I wish you'd... Talk to him about working late so much. Do you want to hear something funny? Hmm? I worry about him all the time. Even at night sometimes I wake up and I look at him just to see if he's breathing. Isn't that weird? No. No, not if you love him that much. Don't you dare tell him about this. I think I'm crazy or something. Okay? Cold chicken coming up.
crazy. I get her out of here. Keep it cool. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for listening. Anytime. My name is Stagg. Sergeant Edward Stagg. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, are you going to bust me, Sergeant? Well, look, if you don't have a warrant, I'd like you to leave. Steve Butler is my son-in-law. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, look, Sergeant, it's 10.30. It is a little late for a social call. I don't pay social calls on traps. Get it out of here. Go on, kid. You want me out of here. You better listen. You and Steve have had it. It's finished. You. You were the one on the telephone. Man, some cop. You're going to have to get somebody else to pay your bills. That shouldn't be too hard. A guy in every street corner just dying to get something like you. How much do you want? Click, click. Right and wrong. Nothing in between. Man, Steve, sure had you picked. I don't want anything, Sergeant. I just want to turn around and get out of here. My daughter doesn't know anything about you and Steve, and she's oh, not going to know go how on much. Home, Sergeant, I'm tired of going to bed. It's over. You understand? It's over. The next time he calls, you tell him you've had it. You never want to see him again, ever. Look, Sergeant, don't try to run my life. Uh, not my life. You listen to me, you no good. No little... one. Get my out of here. daughter. You are not going to hurt my daughter. Is that clear? You are not going to hurt her. There's only one person hurting that kid of yours, and it's not me. What do you mean? Well, who do you think's running Steve out of your house, me? You shut up. Shut up. Oh, you think Steve's coming over here because he's crazy in love with me? Well, I'm not that lucky, Sergeant. I just happen to be a big girl, so don't you point that finger at me. If anyone has lost enough their lives, it's you, man. Well, you. I told you to shut up, did I? Hey. 
headquarters. I want her to put... I can't hear you. Hello? 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 Saturday. I saw him today. He told me about your mother. Why should he do that? He never talks about her. He did today. Steve, it was awful. I never heard a grown man cry before. I can still hear it sometime. It was 13 years ago. He's not crying anymore. Steve. Steve, I love you. Tina. I love you so much. Tina, there's something I want to tell you. Just tell me you love me. That's all I want to hear. No, I do. Let's do it, Steve. Let's make believe it's our first date all over again. We'll eat cotton candy and throw baseballs and buy popcorn. I can't catch up with you. You're like a little kid. Well, it's better than being serious and grumpy like some people I know. Your character. Daddy? Daddy? Daddy, guess what? Steve and I are going on a roller coaster this Saturday. What's wrong? I still have that cold chicken if you want it. Are you sure? It's only going to be... hungry! Take care of your husband. Leave me alone. Steve, what's the matter with him? Stay out of it. Hey. Sergeant, why take it out on her? You can be sore with me, okay? But... Listen. I'm trying to tell you something. You're right about one thing. I don't want Tina to be hurt either. Why can't you mess around with that for anyway? Why? Such a right, didn't I? It's all over. I'm not going to see her anymore. I'm wrapping it up. I'm going to level with Tina right now. I'm going to tell her all about it. No, you're not. You're not going to tell her anything. Not one word. Not one word about you and that tramp. Is that clear? Now, wait a minute, no, Sergeant. Don't, don't argue with me. She couldn't take it. She'd fall apart. Not the end of the world. But it would be for her. You don't know her like I do. We've got to protect her. We have to, you and me. We can't let anything tie you in with that tramp. Nothing. Okay. You say so. Yes, I do. I do. We have to protect her. We have to. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just, just trying to protect her. Trying to protect her. <laughs> Sergeant Marcus. What? Just a minute. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, I got it. We'll get right on it. Who is that? Hold on. Hey, Mike. Jump right on this, will you? Grocery store on Fifth Street. 
Okay, Pop. Right here. Sit down. Yeah. He says he killed his best friend. Huh? When this happened, Pop? I, I don't know. Two, three, four days ago. I don't remember. How'd you kill him? I don't What's your friend's name, Pop? What's your name? Put him away. Let him sleep it off. We'll talk to him later. Okay, let's go, Pop. Please, please. Right. Easy now. Easy. You'll get a nice long snooze. Easy now. It'll be one of those days. Drunks looking for a place to sleep. A fight with my wife. Hey, Ed, you ever get married again? Stay away from women who like to buy hats by the pound. Yo, check this out, William. It's a cleaning woman on William Street. But it's bitch. Uh, she was a little hysterical. I didn't get very much. She said she found this girl that she works for stretched out on a couch. She might be a homicide. Oh, get right on it. Hey, Ed, you better go with him. In case it is a homicide, I'd like to have it cleaned up quick. Yes, sir. She was asleep or something, but she was cold. I, I mean, really cold. And, and then I saw the blood, and uh, well, I, I was so scared I didn't know what to do. And that's when I called the police. Hey, Ed. I'm... Ed. Blood. Mm. Looks like an accident, huh? Maybe she got dizzy and fell down, hit her head. How'd she get to the cow? Well, I guess she got up somehow and managed to reach that before she passed out. What about it, Doc? Not a chance. She died a few seconds after she received the blow on the head. What about time? Oh, at least ten hours. Maybe more. I'll tell you after the autopsy. Oh, uh, Sergeant, the only way she got on that couch was if someone put her there. Miss Simmons, did you move Miss Campbell's body? No, sir. I, I, I told the sergeant. I, I came in here and I found her lying on the okay, couch. Okay, okay, okay. Went... You through with her, Ed? Yeah. You can go now, Miss Simmons. We'll call you again if we need you. Probably find her prints all over the place. The way I figure it, Ed, she could have had an argument with somebody. He knocked her down, she hit her head, he got scared. So he picked her up, carried her over to the couch, probably didn't even know she was dead. Maybe even tried to pull her out of it. This might give us a nice set of prints. But what do you think, sound logical? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Sergeant, this guy outside of him's upstairs. He said he saw someone hang around the door last night. Check him out, will you, Ed? I want to find out what's holding up fingerprints. I uh, didn't see his face. Uh, it's always so dark out here at night, you could break a leg anyway. Uh, he was a man about, uh, well, about your size, Sergeant. Uh, <laughs> That's all I know. Then you wouldn't recognize him if you saw him again, huh? No. Uh, but he wasn't that young fella. I mean, that much I can tell you. What young fella? Well, the one she went out with. I mean, him I saw lots of times. Do you know his name? Uh, no. What's he look like? Well, a thing like that. Uh, she must have gone out with a train load of guys. Maybe. But this is the only one we know about so far. What's he look like? Uh, young, about 30 years old, tall, good-looking, um... Oh, he always looked mad, Sergeant. I'd give him a hello, and he never smiled, not once. Hey, do you think he killed her? 
Well, that's what we're here to find out. Come on in. Check the dresser. I'll tackle the desk. Maybe we'll come up lucky. Something with his name on it. Maybe even a picture. Uh, what about fingerprints? They haven't been here yet, have they? So, be careful. Well, why don't we come back here later? Give fingerprint a chance to do the job first. In the meantime, we can uh, check out that place where she used to work. Uh, on the 10th Street, huh? Does that make more sense to you? Okay. Go. Yeah. I told her she was going to get in trouble going after that guy. Those married men and all that, you know what I mean? You know his name? Uh-uh. Never met him. He was some kind of a working stiff. You know, docks, oil fields, something what like that. What about other guys? She went out with other guys, didn't she? She only went with one man at a time, Sergeant. This month it was strictly him. You know if she saw him last night? Yeah. He called a little after six. She said he was real sore. Want to see her right away. They were to meet at this restaurant, the uh, Red Wall. You know it? Yeah. Poor kid. She was a sucker for a sad story. Any guy was in trouble had it made. What kind of trouble was he in? Something with his father-in-law. Seems that the old man wanted everything his own way. Real character, Luis. Maybe his way was the right way. Who knows? You show me a guy who's right all the time. There's no such animal. Uh, thanks. We might as well check that restaurant. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, I just thought of a couple more questions I'd like to ask that character. It's a waste of time, Ed. Uh, yeah, take my car. I'll grab a cab. You'd be better off coming with me. Listen, I've been on the force for over 25 years. I don't know what I'm doing by now, should I? Good luck. Not smoking on duty. Sarge, no one was here, and I thought I'd. You're here, aren't you? And you're in uniform. I'll put it out. Anybody here besides those ambulance guys? Only fingerprints, Sergeant. He left about five minutes ago. Jackpot sometime. Maybe we'll wrap this one up with a confession, huh? Right. What was that? Remember that old bum walked in this morning? Said he killed his best friend? Yeah. He did. 
Now, you'd never think an old booze hound like that would have that much conscience, would you? You dig up anything? Uh, I went back to the apartment, checked it out there. They didn't find a thing. Ed, did you kill her? What kind of a joke is that? Some hotshot detective. I've been on the force more than 25 years. I know what I'm doing. Hey, remember this? Know whose prints were on it? Yours, you clumsy jerk. What do you want? Confession. What I want to know is when you put your big paws all over it. I don't know. Uh, when you were talking to the doctor, I guess. Uh, Handling evidence like a wet-nosed rookie. And I always thought you were the perfect cop. So, I goofed up. It happens. What about that, uh, that so-called boyfriend of his? Did you find anything? Sure did. He was with her last night. In her apartment? No. The restaurant. A waiter there remembered. The description fits. We'll pick him up. But, uh, you don't know that he went to her apartment, do you? Well, it figures, doesn't it? He's married. The guy at the diner said he was sore when he called her. Chances are his wife was making waves, so they had to break it up. So they had dinner, went back to her apartment, had a few choice words. She landed on her head. How can you be so sure that you'd be able to pick him up? We know where he works. Docks or oil field. A thousand guys. Only one looks like this. <laughs> garden in the backyard. We're going to have carrots and radishes and tomatoes. How does that sound? It sounds fine. It sounds fine. You're the only farmer I know, and all you can say is sounds fine. Hey, babe, I'm just not with it today. I'm counting on you for advice. Well, I'm no farmer. You were born on one. Yeah, my parents lost it when I was five. So? You've got five years more experience than I do. Too much, you know that. Okay. Just wait and see. We're going to have tomatoes that big. Not if I get near them. Steve, I've, uh, I've been thinking. Maybe you were right. Maybe we should go away for a while. Just you and me. Put that on. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? They owe you a vacation. Maybe we can even leave tomorrow. Walk out of my job. I just like that. Walk out of my job. Why not? It's better than being unhappy all the time. Oh, Steve, I just... I just want us to love each other. We live happily ever after like in the storybooks. Yeah, I know. Well, it doesn't happen. Forget it. Why shouldn't it? Because I'm just a guy, that's all. Take a look at me. I'm just a guy. I, I don't have a suit of armor. I don't have a white horse. I wouldn't know how to fight a dragon if I saw one. I'm just a guy, that's all. I do stupid things. I make mistakes. Sergeant, I want to talk to you. How oh, shall
you say anything to Tina? I didn't kill her, Sergeant. Believe me, I don't what know about anything Tina? about her. Say anything to her. No, not yet. I'll uh, see that you keep it that way. Good will it do? They have that sketch. Sooner or later, they'll pin it down, run me in. Not if you keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Found that in her apartment. Maybe you want to put it in your scrapbook. Look, Sergeant, I'm sorry you found Just out keep about it. That's all I ask. You can kill her. All right. I didn't see her that night. Believe me, that's the truth. All right, it's the truth, Sergeant. Listen. I know you wouldn't cover for me if you thought I was guilty, but I'll leave it alone. Can't you, can't you just leave it alone? Hey, Tina. Hey, Tina. Sure, I used to date her. But I haven't seen her in like two months. How about the night she was killed? But I told you. Tell me again. The movies. I went to the movies. I wasn't anywhere near her place. Okay, you can go. Well, go on, get out of here. Like fishing in a mud hole, Nelly. Lieutenant just had a call, Ed. The girl's father. He got a letter from her the day before she died. She mentioned her boyfriend's name. Steve. Right in. Narrows it down, doesn't it? Not funny, Joe. Look, Ed, you and me, we've been friends a long time. I mean, I've known Tina since she was that high. Oh. So? How are she and Steve getting along? Fine. Fine. Get along fine. Ed, I was here. I was right here when you and Steve. He came tearing out of that room like he was chasing somebody. I heard you yell at him, Ed. Stay away from that day. I heard it. Look, Ed, he's married. He works in the oil fields. He could have posed for that sketch. Yeah, and his father-in-law tries to run his life. Don't forget that. His father-in-law is an honest cop who once said he'd walk out the day he found himself trying to protect a guilty man. It wasn't him, Joe. I know it was working that night. You're sure of that, Ed? Yes, I'm sure of it. I don't cover for murderers. Okay. Okay, Ed. One suspect. I told you it's one suspect, and you think you've got it made. But well, this town is full of people who might have killed her. Like who? I can't do it. You must. You've got to. I know Joe Marcus. He's going to pull you in. It's crazy. You want me to pick you up? You want Tina to find out about you and that day? Somebody killed Louise. Not me. Let him run. Not me. I know. I know. Take Tina with you. I'll talk to her. She'll no. She won't be able to take it, I tell you. It'll destroy her. Help her. Help me. That's what I'm trying to do. Not this way, not by running. How do you think I lied on the Louise in the first place? I couldn't lick a problem, so I ran. How can I expect Tina to grow up before I won't? But it's the only chance you've got. You want to help me? Really help me? I'll make it Joe Marcus off my back. There's only one way. I didn't kill Louise. Find the man who did. And you won't leave. No. Winos, hopheads, bums. I mean, a hundred times I talked to the landlord about it. Someday I'll break a leg just stepping over him. The man you saw hanging around his door that night, could he have been a wino? Maybe. Why not? Could he have been about, uh, oh, 65, 70 years old? Oh, did you find somebody, Sergeant? Could he have been that old? I suppose, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure he could. Oh, thanks. Sergeant Stagg. Yes, sir. Yeah. Take a look at that. Take it out of the bank. Great. That's it. You ever see that before? Turn it all around. Get a good look at it. That's it. Hey, do you ever drink that kind of wine? Yeah. It was cheap enough. Hey. Ah, let's put it back now, huh? Put it back. Uh, how 
Napoleon, Pop? I, I don't know. 65, 67, I, I, I don't remember good no more. Hmm. You have any relatives? Friends? No, no, no relatives. Friends. Yeah, friends. Look, look. Uh, 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 Len Baggett, he's my best friend. No. No, he's dead, Pop. He's the man you killed. Oh, oh my God, I, I forgot. Len, Len and me had, had, had a fight. I, I hit him with something. A piece of lead pipe. Yeah, a piece of lead pipe. Where'd you have to go with, Pop? Girl, I... I, I, I don't remember no girl. Come on now. You've already admitted the one murder. Why not admit the other one? Why not get that girl off your conscience, too? You're going to get the gas chamber anyway. You can only gas you once, right, Pop? Uh, honest. I don't remember no girl. The night before you turned yourself in, where were you? I, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Why not? Why don't you? I, I told I, I told him I, I, I told him already I, I was drunk. You were drunk, all right, but not too drunk to remember what you did. Now, what did you do? You didn't tell him everything, did you? I, I thought I did. Oh. Huh? Well, you tell him that you forced your way in a Louise Campbell's apartment. You tell him that. Hmm? You tell him how you tried to take her money? Did you tell him how you knocked her down and killed her? I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Come on now, Pop. You were so plastered, you don't know what you did. William Street. You know William Street, don't you? Yeah. All right, that's better. 726 William Street. Ground floor apartment. this bottle in the hallway with your fingerprints all over it. Pop. Pop, I'm your friend. Huh? I want to help you. I want to help you remember, Pop. Now, come on. Pop. Why, why would I kill her? For money. You needed money to buy wine. I, 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 would, I wouldn't have killed her. Killed your friend, didn't you? Best friend, only friend. Why would you kill her? You killed him, Pop. I don't remember. I know. Pop, you're going to remember if I have to stay here all night. Oh, come on. Let me alone. Let me alone. No, Pop. No. I'm going to help you, Pop. I'm going to help you remember. Now, you, you were in the hallway, right? I... <laughs> yeah, I guess I was. Yes, yes, you were. You were in the hallway. And it was 10.45 at night. Remember that now, 10.45. You knocked on the door, and when she opened it, when she opened it, you pushed your way in. Please, Sergeant. You pushed your way in, and you asked her for some money, and when she didn't give it to you, you knocked her, you knocked her down, and you killed her. No, I, I didn't. You killed her, just like you killed your friend. I don't remember. And you killed her, Pop, and you know it. Then you, then you dragged her body over to the couch, and you left her there. I was drunk. I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't drunk. It's all right, Pop. It's all right now. It's all right. All right. You don't have to remember everything now. Just remember that you killed her. I was drunk. You only die once. Do you understand that? You only die once. All right, Willard. How did you get into the apartment? 
Lieutenant ask you a question? I, I was drunk. How did you get into the apartment? I she, she let me in, I guess. You guess? Aren't you sure? Told Sergeant Stagg that she opened the door and you pushed your way in. Is that what happened? Well, I, I was drunk. Is that what happened, Pop? Yeah. What time was that? Time? Yeah, time. 9.30, 10, 10.30, 11. What time were you there? I, 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 I don't know. I, maybe, maybe 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? You're yeah. answering the questions, Lord. Just 10 o'clock. All right, 10 o'clock. Why don't you tell us the rest of the story now? The rest of the story? Yeah, the rest of the story. You know you're going to feel better if you get it off your mind. Did you feel better when you told us about killing your friend? Money. I must have asked her for money. I don't remember. I don't remember. But you do know that you were there at 10 o'clock. Hey. Yeah, I don't. I guess maybe I hit it, guys. Oh, please. I don't remember. Be right back. All right, well, come on. Sit up. Sit up. I want you to start again. Right at the beginning, huh? Much trouble, Ed. You bleeding for it? You? He's a murderer, isn't he? You think he did it? You're asking me. You're the one who found the bottle with his prints on it. You're the one who broke him down. You did a good job on him, Ed. Yeah. Yeah, it's great what you can do with uh, 25 years of experience. Look, Ed. You've been pushing pretty hard. Why don't you take a couple of days sick leave? Okay, okay. Well, go ahead. I'll swear to you, Lieutenant. Killer? Huh? Looks just like enough to be your twin brother. Why don't you keep it? Oh, now, come on, killer. I can't help it if you look like a mystery man. Oh, gee. <laughs> well, you know, killer, if you'd gone bowling with us that night, you'd have a perfect alibi. Of course, you know, you've got relatives on the force. Now, don't worry. They'll take care of you.
got you off the hook. Like your mother there for a moment. Has anything happened? No. No, uh, I was just tired. That's all. Just tired. Is it Steve? I almost killed my father once. Did I ever tell you that? I was drunk. I was beating up my mother. I was only 15. I ran away from home right after that. Didn't come back for three years. She was dead. I never saw him again either. That's terrible. It's funny. I haven't thought about him for years. Daddy, you're the best man that ever lived. Baby, promise me. Promise me that you'll never stop loving me. Daddy, don't. Promise me. Look, everything I've done, it's been for you, everything. You promise me now. You always love me, always. Of course I will. Oh, Thank you. Daddy, please tell me. Has anything happened, Steve? No, no, Steve. Steve is fine. Yeah, he's fine. There was a hammer in the kitchen. I picked it up and I hit him. Hit him, I hit him. Hit him till he fell. Then my mother screamed at me to get out of there. I was trying to help her. And she told me to get out. Yes, I am tired. I think I'll... I think I'll lie down for a while. Absolutely, the greatest absolute. Are you drunk? Have you been in a fight? Oh, when you see the other guy, go on, change your clothes. We're going out. You gotta be drunk. No, it's a celebration for freedom. Freedom. Celebration complete with hot dog, popcorn, cotton candy to work. Go on, change your clothes.
Ben is a little popcorn. A little cotton candy. See that guy? See that guy back there? <laughs> Weak. <laughs> hey, ladies, you want some popcorn? No, I burst. Chicken, chicken get two. <laughs> hey, mister. Take good care of him. Two big ones. Lots of butter. That old man was in Luigi's apartment at 10 o'clock. That's a mistake, isn't it? You're off the hook, so forget about it. Did he say that at 10 o'clock? He said that he killed her. That he was drunk, that he forced his way into her apartment. And that he killed her at 10 o'clock. Did he say what that at 10 o'clock? You got Joe Marcus off your back now. So do what I said. Forget about it. It's wrong, Sergeant. It's wrong. He couldn't have been there at 10 o'clock, Sergeant. I lied to you, Sergeant. I wasn't working that night. I was with Louise. We had dinner, I went to her apartment, I stayed there until 10.30. 10.30, Sergeant. I was scared. If I wasn't, I wouldn't have lied. No, you didn't lie to me. You didn't see her that night. You were working that night. He couldn't have been there at 10 o'clock. I know. You no, know, I'll tell you what you know. You were married to my daughter, and you messed around with that tramp. She got killed. That's what you know. But it's true, Sergeant. I was there. You've got to call headquarters and tell them. I don't have to tell them anything, and neither do you. Tell them myself. No. Now, what about Tina? Tina, that old man is sitting in a cell because of a story that isn't true, and you're worried about Tina. All right, all right. Forget about Tina. What about you? What about yourself? They'll say you killed her. So they'll say I killed her. I didn't, and neither did that old man. Please. You don't realize what you're doing. One of us doesn't. I'm going to call. No. You won't have to. Go out in the car. I'll drive you there myself. <laughs> about nine o'clock. Didn't wake up till three in the morning. Tenth Street, a good 12 blocks from the girl's apartment. You buy it? Yeah, I buy it. Okay. What about the bottle with this prince on it? They could have been there for a week. Or it could have been planted. We've got a confession, Joe. No, no. Not us. We didn't get that confession. We didn't get anything. Sarge, the course is over there. I know. We'll get there. I want to talk. You said it all. You said nothing. Nothing. We have trouble. Oh, he stays out late every night and runs around with wild women and beats me every time he comes home. Tina, where's your father? Maybe with Steve. Drunk. Rolling in the gutter. It happens every night of the week. Is your father with him? <laughs> he isn't he cute? We want him at a shooting gallery. Tina, where are they? 
I don't know. I don't, I don't know where anybody is. Well, where should I put you? Tina, did you ever hear of a girl named Louise Campbell? Should I? She was murdered. It's been in the papers for days. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I never read the papers. Your father's been working on the case. Here. Now, then, now, this is where you belong. Tina, he's in trouble. Serious trouble. I don't believe that. He's a good cop. Too good to louse up an investigation by handling a piece of evidence. Tina, I bought it, but I can't buy it now. What evidence? What are you talking about? He knew about Steve. That woman was running around with a married man. With Steve. That's not true. Tina, we have his description. We have his name. Steve had been seeing her for weeks. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a dirty, rotten, filthy lie. I'm sorry, Tina. Oh, Joe, get out of here. Honey, I have to find Get you. out of here! Tina, I have to find no. you. Oh. Oh. Do you know where he is? <sighs> Joe, it was a game. <laughs> when I was little, after my mother left, I used to have nightmares. And my daddy would come into the room and he would tell me not to worry. Because he would put up a wall and it would keep all the bad things out. <laughs> and it did. It really did. Joe, where did the wall go? Why did it go away? Tina, was Steve seeing that girl? <laughs> I just, I just wanted us to be happy. I, I thought if I didn't say anything to him, the wall would still be there, and we'd be safe inside. <laughs> I said she was killed. <laughs> Give me police headquarters. It wasn't Steve. Joe, it couldn't have been Steve. I never said it was. Hello, this is Sergeant Marcus. I want to put out an APB on Ed Stagg. That's right, Sergeant Ed Stagg. Well, you're used to meet her, isn't it? What's the point, Sergeant? She's dead. You ever almost drown? Go under? Try to scream? Can't. And there's nobody there to help you. Nobody. Uh, you're on your own. Nobody there to help you. Nobody but yourself. 
I'm going back to the car. No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, not, not, not yet. It's over, Sergeant. There's nothing here. I'm here. I'm here, and I'm drowning. Oh, can't you get it through your head? He's a bum, a drunk. He's got no friends, no relatives, nothing. He, he, he doesn't mean anything. Maybe he didn't kill her. What difference does it make? He killed somebody, didn't he? And he's going to have to die, isn't he? If it gets you off the hook, what difference does it make? What difference does it make? You lousy hypocrite. If a man doesn't know the difference between right and wrong, he might as well be living in a tree. Isn't that what you said, Sergeant? Go ahead, climb that tree, make me another speech. Go ahead, Sergeant, I'm waiting, go ahead. You fuck you, immoral bum! Who do you think started this whole mess, anyway? Who? I don't know, Sergeant, but you better believe it's over. They book me or they don't book me, I'm leveling with Tina and I'm wrapping it up, telling her the whole bit. No. She's coming out of that box you kept her in if I have to drag her out. Maybe the air out it stinks, but she better learn to live in it. So I'm starting right now. No. Tina, please! Throw her open, Sergeant. No, throw her open. It's not just Tina. It's not just her. It's you. It's me. You walk into headquarters and, and, and we're all connected. All of us. I didn't do anything, Sergeant. Nothing. You but I did! Me. I, I killed her. God help me, I killed her. You? Yes. Oh, God, help me, I killed him. It was you. you. All this time, all those speeches of me and Tina. I... <laughs> but I, I, I just pushed her. I just pushed her and she fell and she hit her head. You killed her. I tell you, it was just an accident. And you'd sell the old man for it. No, I, 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 it was for Tina. I was trying to protect Tina. Calm off it, Sergeant. Calm way down off it. You weren't protecting anybody but yourself. No, 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 that's not true. Who are you covering for now? Me, Tina, the old man, or is it you? Stop it, stop it. I listen to you all year, and there's nothing inside those speeches. Nothing. All I've had was please, 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 Steve. No, no. Ha, ha, ha. 